This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. I will rejoice, I will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made. Father, we just come before your holy throne. We ask that you forgive us of all sins we have committed against you and against those made in your image. Father, I ask for now according to your word in Psalm 34, verse 7, that you can bring your angels around all of us participating of this broadcast, around our loved ones, family members, ministry partners, in-laws, ex-in-laws, and friends, to protect us and keep us safe from any form of retaliation or attacks of the devil and his demons. And we declare Isaiah 54, 17, no weapon formed against us shall prosper, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Welcome, everyone, to another live edition of our Deliverance Prayers. Amen. We do our very best here to knock devils out on a daily basis. Why? Because demons have to be cast out. If they're not cast out, you know, then they're going to cast us out. Okay. They are going to cause so much trouble. That's why this broadcast here is dedicated mainly to expose the kingdom of Satan on this planet. Okay, while other people are talking about some other stuff, you know, we dedicate a time, we focus mainly on the satanic kingdom. Why? Because they are very present. They are very present. They are causing destruction every single day. If we spirits kill people every single day, I got on the phone today for like a half an hour, okay, and I was driving out demons from this guy, and the demons were, I mean, they, they were trying to fight, to resist, they were kind of uh, making a strange sound, why? Because they are inside the person's body, okay, so that's why we focus, you know, on exposing the kingdom of Satan, Okay, amen. They are here to destroy. The Bible says in John chapter 10, right? They come to steal, kill, and destroy. That is, you know, Jesus was speaking about our, you know, spiritual enemy. Okay, amen. They come to steal, kill, and destroy. That's what they do every day. They kill, they steal, they destroy. How many people died today? They woke up this morning. They think everything was going to be fine, and they ended up dying. Were they expecting to die? Maybe not. Maybe most of them not. It just happened. Why? There is an enemy out there. Okay? Amen? Seeking to whom he may devour. That's what Peter said. You know, Satan, you know, is rolling like a lion, seeking to whom he may devour. So here, whether people like it or not, we expose demons, okay? We expose dirty creatures. That's why we have this broadcast now. And on top of that, we drive out demons daily. Why? Because the more we drive out demons, the better we are going to feel, okay? The more we drive out demons, the closer to Jesus we are going to be. That's the way it is. Because demons can get in the way, and they can cause distraction, okay? And then they can cause confusion, and then things only get worse from there, right? Things only go downhill. So here, we are dedicated to exposing Satan's kingdom on this planet. Amen? They kill every day. They steal every day. They cause, you know, disturbances, empties. They put people against people every day. They do it. That's their job. Amen. You got to have your spiritual eyes. You got to have your spiritual understanding so you can fight the right way. There's always the right way to fight. Don't try to fight demons the wrong way. It's not going to work. I have a scripture here that I want to read. But before we go there, uh, let me see if I have any announcements. Well, I'll share the announcements after we read the scripture and drive out some demons. How about that? Amen. 
So, uh, as I said, briefly, okay, as I said, uh, we are going to do our very best to be here every day in this hour, okay? Amen? Every day. There might be a day where the internet is down. There might be a day where I am traveling. Then I won't be here, okay? If I can make the announcement, great. If not, people are going to, they're not going to be able to watch us. But, you know, for the time being, I am available. When I am available, I want to be here. I want to help people. I want to drive out demons. I want to expose the kingdom of Satan right there in your house. Right there under your roof. They are there, by the way. They are there. I don't care who you are. I don't care how much you pray. I don't care how much you say you believe in Jesus. There are evil spirits under your roof. All right? As simple as that. Amen? Unless you live in heaven... Unless you dwell in the secret place of the Most High, okay? If you are there, then yeah, there, there, there's no demons there. Demons can never go to the secret place of the Most High. They can never abide under the shadow of the Almighty. If you live there, great, you're safe, okay? But if you're not there, okay, if you live elsewhere, there are demons under your roof. That's the bad news, okay? Let's just go ahead now and let me see. Yeah, yeah. let's go ahead and share. I, I, I have a scripture here. Okay. I want to read this. No. It's, oh, man, I forgot. Okay, just a second. Let me replace the scripture here. This one I read yesterday. Let me see if I can do it now. Okay, man. All right. Okay, let me remove. Now let me add, okay, just a second, I think I have it here, oh no, it's not, no, I no, think no. I okay. have it here, I'm sorry, Ren. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, just a second, oh man, oh man, give me a second, I'm going to find the scripture again, give me a second, okay, praise God, hallelujah, all right, Okay, I think this is the one. All right, I think this is the one. Let's go here. All right. Okay, NKJV. Let me see if this is the one. I believe it is. Okay. All right. So let me copy now the link. I am putting a scripture here. Okay, all right. Now, let me close this. And let me come here, back here. Just a second. Okay, right here. Mm, all right. This is the one. Okay, all right. We want to read this scripture right here. If you are on a desktop or laptop, you might be able to read it. But if you are on your cell phone, I don't think you can read it. It's two small letters. But I'm going to read it because we're going to comment on this, okay? Let me read it to you here. Before we drive out demons, I want to read this scripture. This is from Mark chapter 7, verses from 24 to 29. I'm reading from the new, excuse me. I'm reading from the new King James Version. This is what the Bible says. From there he arose and went to the region of Tyre and Sidon. Sidon. And he entered a house and he wanted no one to know it. Right? He wanted to be in private. He wants to be, he wants to have privacy. He wanted to rest. He didn't want anybody to know that he entered that house. But he could not be hidden. Verse 25, for a woman whose young daughter had an unclean spirit heard about him and she came and fell at his feet. Let me pause here right now and then let me comment on the verse 25. So Jesus was in the vicinity of Tyre and Sidon, right? So a woman who lived there, okay, heard about him. And then she went looking for him. But he, he entered a house and did not want to know. He did not want anyone to know he was there. 
But this woman had such an urgency that she went out and started looking for Jesus. Okay. Remember, he was hiding in a house, but she went out to look for him. Why? Look what the Bible says. For a woman whose young daughter had an unclean spirit. Heard about him. All right. This woman was a Syrophoenician woman. In other words, she was a pagan. Okay. She was a pagan, but she heard about Jesus. She heard about the miracles. She went after him. Why? Because she had a situation. Can you imagine now going back 2,000 years? A mother that wasn't even a Jewish woman. Okay. She was a Syrophoenician, a pagan, a Gentile. Already knew that her daughter was possessed. Now, let me ask a question. How many parents today, 2,000 years later, how many parents who have possessed children really know that the children are possessed? How many? Not too many. Not too many. Okay? That's why they seek medical science, because they don't know. Amen. Now, let's go back 2,000 years now, okay? What is that that caused a Syrophoenician woman, a pagan, a Gentile, to believe that her daughter had a demon? She believed that her daughter had a demon because that's why she went looking for Jesus, right? Do you want to know why? Because back in the days when children had autism, they would go crazy. They will scream and bite themselves and hit their head in the walls. They knew the child was possessed. They knew. But today, they say, no, he has autism. Take it to the doctor. Take it to the doctor. Your child has autism. He's he hammering his head on the walls. He bites his arms. He's, he screams and yells, and he's always running. He's always screaming. He's always breaking things. Oh, he has autism. They don't say he has a demon, do they? No, they don't. 2,000 years after Jesus walked on this planet. Now, traveling back 2,000 years, a Syrophoenician woman, a pagan, a Gentile that did not know about God, already knew that her daughter was possessed. Why? Because of the behavior. If the daughter was a normal daughter, doing everything right, well, the woman would say, well, my daughter is normal, but because the daughter... You know, the Bible doesn't describe it, but in order for somebody 2,000 years ago to, you know, believe that their child was possessed, that child was not normal. That child was not normal. Just like autism, for example, right? There's another account, okay, in the book of Matthew, where Jesus was approached by a father, his son was being thrown in fire and water. There was another, you know, demon. Which demon was that one? Epilepsy. If a child is being thrown in the fire or water, that's a demon trying to kill the child. That's why the child goes into convulsion. And then the tongue starts rolling up inside the mouth. Pretty soon the child is foaming. That's epilepsy. Back in the days, they knew it. So much so that the father brought the child to Jesus, to be healed by Jesus. Right? He knew that the child was possessed. 2,000 years ago. Today, if a child is having seizures, well, take it to the doctor. It's sickness. It's disease. But they never say the child is possessed. Never. 2,000 years later, we are more deceived today than the people 2,000 years ago were. They were smarter than we are today. Because back in the days, even the pagans 
knew when someone was possessed by demons. Today, 2,000 years later, everybody doesn't believe that. They believe in, in other stuff. Epilepsy is still demon possession. Autism is still demon possession today. Let me repeat that. Epilepsy is still demon possession. Why? Because I dealt with one. I dealt with one. I shared this here. The guy came. I will. I, let me say that again for the people that are not were not here when I said that. And let me say it real quick. I was in Brazil, you know, getting ready to attend a church there. I was actually a part of the preaching ministry, but I was a visitor to that church. I, I, that was not my church. So we were still like uh, several people outside the church waiting for this church, the service to start. And I was outside the church as well. And then one man started walking in my direction. Now go figure that out. I was the only one there that could cast out a demon. Nobody else could, including the assistant pastor of the church. I was the only one, and when that man came towards me, he came towards me. He didn't go towards anybody else. He came towards me. He stood before me. Then he went into convulsion. He went to the ground, and he started contorting and having convulsion, and foaming from his mouth. And then I pointed, pointed my finger to him, and I said, you epilepsy demon, get out of this man! And you get up. He got up and walked away. He was not, you know, into convulsion for any longer than one to two minutes. When he went away, the pastor, the assistant pastor came to me, and said, how did you do that? I said, how did I do what? He said, this man, we know him. When he goes into convulsion like that, it, it's a good 40 minutes before he wakes up. It's a good 40 minutes before he wakes up. I said, do you want to know why? Because nobody cast out his demons like I did. His problem is not epilepsy. His problem is a demon. Now, there I was educating an assistant pastor. Okay, so I dealt with epilepsy. I know it's a demon. Okay, amen. So when that father that had his epileptic child, the demon was throwing him, the, pa the father told Jesus, you know, when the demon manifests, he throws him into water and fire. Why? Because he was trying to kill the child. When, when the demon saw Jesus, he went into convulsion. And then Jesus drove him out and, take, and took the child back to his father. And the child was normal. 2,000 years ago, they knew about demon possession. Today, we don't know about demon possession. You know, everybody's possessed, but they don't know about demon possession. That's why they run to doctors. They, that's why they do not cast out demons. All right, let's keep reading here. Okay, verse 25. For a woman whose young daughter had an unclean spirit heard about him, and she came and fell at his feet. So she found him, right? The woman was a Greek, a Syrophoenician by birth, and she kept asking him to cast the demon out of her daughter. She kept asking Jesus, not his disciples, Jesus. She kept asking Jesus to cast out the demon from her daughter. Now look at verse 27. But Jesus said to her, Let the children be filled first, for it is not good to take the children's bread and throw it to the little dogs. Did he offend the woman? Of course he did, but he did it on purpose, to test her faith. Verse 28, And she answered and said to him, Yes, Lord, yet 
Even the little dogs under the table eat from the children's crumbs. Verse 9, Jesus said, Then he said to her, For this saying, go your way, the demon has gone out of your daughter. That's Jesus, right? He drove out demons long distance, right? He didn't have to be there under the roof. He didn't have to be in the same house. He didn't have to lay hands on the child. He was far away. And because the woman showed to him that she had faith that he would do it, he just said, now you can go. The demon is already gone. Jesus drove out a demon from the little daughter, the, the woman, the, the, the child, without being in the house. He did that long distance. Can you drive out demons long distance? I have. I have driven out many demons long distance. Without being in the house, without being with the person, I have driven and the demons left. Are you? Can you say amen? Amen. Hallelujah. All right. Let me see. Let's go back here. All right. So as you know, I have a camera that is not working really well, but at least you can see me, can't you? Hi. Amen. Praise God. So as long as you can see me a little bit, that's fine. You know, someday I'll buy a nice camera. You know, not now. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, folks, we're going to drive out demons right now. Okay, but what you heard from me, what you, if you were able to read that script, if you're not able, you can always read it from your Bible. It's Mark chapter 7, verses from 24 to 29. Read it for yourself. I read it from the New King James Version. Okay, but they all say the same thing. All right. So, 2,000 years ago, even pagans, even, you know, Gentiles, unbelievers, knew about demon possession. Today, 2,000 years later, we are clueless. We are clueless. Are you listening to me? All right. We're going to drive out demons right now. Okay. And please don't go anywhere. We're going to drive out demons right now. Okay. I want to drive out demons from you. We do it every day that we are here. Okay. I don't care. Okay, whether you believe me or not, I don't care whether you believe you have demons or not, okay? If you stand before me and make eye contact with me, you're going to find out that you too have demons in you. As simple as that. I expose demons halfway, you know, across the planet. Okay, I don't care. It's my specialty. It's a calling. Jesus called me to expose demons. I've been doing it for 35 years. You name it, and I have cast out. You name it, and I have cast out. Okay, because I believe in the word of God. I don't believe in medical science, although God can use doctors. Okay, sometimes a doctor can heal somebody, you know, but unless God heals the person, then nobody can. Okay, the Bible said that he heals all our diseases. God is the one okay, that deserves all the credit, even if a doctor is being used to heal somebody. God deserves all the credit. Why? Because he is the one that heals all our diseases. Now go figure that out. All. 100%. Name something. Coronavirus? Yeah. God is the one that heals us from that junk, from those devils, okay? Coronavirus is a demon. I, I mean, you know, it's a demon that carries the virus around. Now go figure that out. All right. I know what I'm talking about. I already cast out coronavirus. Okay. Amen. Praise God. So that's why we have this broadcast. We want to educate people, but we also want to keep them feeling good. Right? Feeling good. And in order to, for, for you to feel good, we need to cast out your demons. Praise God. Let's do it right now. The Bible says... Now, first I want you to repeat after me. This prayer that I'm going to pray now, we pray here every day. Okay? It's based on Matthew 5.44 that says, love your enemies. And Mark 11, 25, 26, 
which says, forgive those who have trespassed against you. Okay? So now repeat after me. Say, Father in heaven, I forgive everyone who have hurt, who has hurt me one way or another. Let me repeat that. I, I, I want to say it again. Say, Father in heaven, I forgive everyone who has hurt me one way or another. I forgive them. I love them. I bless them. And I pray for them. Bless them, Father. Now, Father, I ask you that you forgive me of all my sins. As I have forgiven those who have trespassed against me. Now you are ready to get rid of demons. Okay, let's cast them out. The Bible says in the book of Luke, chapter 10, verse 19. I have given you authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the power of the enemy and nothing will harm you. Come out, evil spirits. Come out, evil spirits. Come out now. Come out now. Come out now. In Jesus' mighty name. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Up and out. Up and out. Up and out. Evil spirits. Up and out. Come out. Get out of everyone participating with me in this hour right now. Get out of them. Go straight to the abyss. Get out of them. In Jesus' mighty name. Come out. Come out, infirmity spirits, sickness, disease, mental illness, depression. Get out now, anxiety attacks, suicidal thoughts. Come out and go to the pit, devils. Come out, mental torment. Go now to the pit. Come out, come out, come out, come out, come out in Jesus' mighty name. Go now to the pit. Come out pain throughout the body. Come out body ache, headache, back pain. Come out now migraine headache. Come out now uh, uh, fibromyalgia. Come out arthritis. Go now to the pit. Go now to the pit. Go now to the pit. Come out insomnia. Come out sleeping disorder. Come out eating disorder. Come out gluttony. Go now to the pit. Go now to the pit. Come out and go to the pit. Come out and go to the pit. Come out and go to the pit. In Jesus' mighty name. Come out. Come out, infirmity demons. Come out, anger, rage, hatred, bitterness, resentment, unforgiveness. Go now, road rage demons. Come out, anger, rage. Go to the pit. Go to the pit. Go to the pit. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out, come out in Jesus' mighty name. I command you now to go straight to the abyss. Come out now, drug addiction. Come out, alcohol addiction. Come out now, come out now, come out now in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. Go now, pornography demons. Go now to the pit. Sex addiction. Go now to the pit. Sexual perversion. Go now to the pit. Come out in Jesus' name. Come out in the name of Yeshua Hamashiach. Go now to the pit. Go now to the pit. Go now to the pit. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out in Jesus' mighty name. Come out now premature death, accidents, homicide, suicide, criminal demons. Go now to the pit. Come out, vandalism devils. Go now to the pit. Come out, ghost hunting shows. Demons, get out. Come out. Come out now, new age spirituality demons. Come out, horoscope demons. Go now to the pit, yoga demons. Come out, meditation demons. Come out. Come out. Come out, occultic demons. Go now to the pit. Satanism, go now to the pit. Go now to the pit. Financial curses. Go now to the pit. Go now to the pit. Up and out. Up and out. Go now to the pit. Premature death. Go now to the pit. Come out now. Homicide. Go now to the pit. Violence. Domestic violence. Go now to the pit. Go now to the pit. Go now to the pit. Now to the pit. Say amen. Take a deep breath three times. Come out, devils. Come out, demons. Come out, infirmity demons. Say amen. All right. Every day, 
we can stop demons, okay? Every day. Amen? The more, the better. The more you have your demons cast out, the better you're going to feel. Amen? The healthier you're going to feel. It is a good idea to have somebody like myself, dri myself driving out your demons out of you every day live over YouTube. Live over the internet. Amen? We are live right now. Right now is what, 5.28 p.m., 5.30 p.m. In Pacific time, we're still live. But you know, the video is being recorded to YouTube. People are going to watch this video later on. It's not going to be live. It's going to be on demand. But right now, 5.30 p.m., okay, Pacific time, 8.30 p.m., Eastern time, we are live. Amen? It is a good idea to join us live here every day, I said. Every day. Unless I have internet problems or I'm traveling, then you won't be able to be here. But you know, the videos are being recorded to YouTube. Watch them. Watch them. Watch them again. The more, the better. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. So now let's see. Um, let me do a body adjustment on you real quick. That's another thing, okay? You know, if your body is always adjusted, Everything is in proper order, then no disease can survive inside your body. Go figure that out. Amen. Hallelujah. The problem is people get angry and then pretty soon their spine become crooked. Yeah. Scoliosis is a demon. Okay. Kyphosis is a demon. Herniated disc is caused by demons. Okay. Due to what? Mainly anger, rage. Bitterness, resentment, unforgiveness. You want to get back pain quickly? Start hating people everywhere. Start hating people. Go to bed bitter. Pretty soon, you're going to have back pain. Pretty soon, you're going to have migraine headache. Pretty soon, you may have arthritis too. I used to have arthritis in my knees and, and elbows. Not anymore, folks. 25 years ago, they went away from me. Once I found out about bitterness and resentment, I began driving out. I began doing that, and I began driving out demons from me. They all left. They all left. Okay? Let me do a quick body adjustment on you here right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I command your brain stem to be centered over your spine and to relieve all problems in the muscles, ligaments, tendons, nerves, and bones. I command your neck bones... The, the seven vertebrae in your neck to align perfectly with the brain and, and, and uh, with the brain, uh, I mean with the head and brain stem. I command your dorsal vertebrae, the 12 vertebrae in your back, to align perfectly with the neck and head. I command your lumbar vertebrae, which is the five vertebrae in your lower back, to align perfectly with the dorsal vertebrae and cervical vertebrae and with the head and with the brain stem in Jesus' mighty name. I now command all your uh, uh, organs to go into a proper place and proper position. I command both arms to be in the same length. I command both legs to be in the same length. I command now your nervous system to carry on proper communication from the brain to the body parts and vice versa without any obstacle, no hindrance, no obstruction. I command your heart to pump blood up and down inside your body without any issue, without any problem. In Jesus' name, body, obey my command. I now command your hip bones to be adjusted properly and normally. I now command your pelvic bones to be shifted to proper place and proper position right now. In Jesus' mighty name. I command all organs in your body to go into proper place and proper position. In Jesus' mighty name. Body, be adjusted completely in jesus mighty name i command everything to be in order proper order inside this body now in jesus mighty name say amen all right now i have an announcement here we are just about done with the broadcast okay folks i need your help if you want to see me here everyday life you need to support me because if i don't get any support Okay, if I don't get enough, I'm going to have to go and do something else. Okay, amen. But I am called by God. I was called 35 years ago to do this. 
That's what I've been doing for 35 years. I need help. The Bible says, those who preach the gospel live by the gospel. I'm trying to help people. It's better for you. It's more profit for you to, me, to have me here every day than not to have me here. Because how many people do what I do? How many? Close to zero. Close to zero. Okay. Somebody got to do what I do. Somebody got to expose Satan to the core. Somebody got to cast out demons the way I do. And I am offering to do it live. I need your support. Okay. I need you to, to, to prayerfully consider honoring God through my calling and ministry. Okay. Today I minister to a man, an NFL player. He might be watching us right now too. Okay. And a lot of demons came out of that man. A lot. Okay. I was for half an hour nonstop driving out demons. And they were coming out. They were all coming out. So listen to this, folks. Okay. To, to drive out demons over the phone to somebody, it's just like same thing here. Okay. The only thing, you know, here I am driving demons from more people than just one on the phone. Okay. Let me say this to you folks. Help me out. Please consider keeping Brother Carlos in ministry. Okay. I'm still pretty healthy. I grow older and healthy. I think I can stay here driving out demons for another 10 to 20 years. Who knows? Oh, God can take me up tonight if he wants. But I don't think he wants. I think he wants me here. Okay. Amen. And I'm willing to do it. But I need help. Where can you donate? Below this video on YouTube. Above the video on Facebook. Or you can go to BrotherCarlos.com. The website right there. And the website is also listed below in the video on YouTube. Please help me stay in ministry. Help me to help yourself. Help me to be here for you every day of the week, including weekends and holidays. Help me to help you. Help me to, you know, when I am driving out demons the way I do, demons are coming out of your house too. They are coming out of your house too. They cannot handle this. So, you know, help me to help, you know, drive out demons from your home from your pets, from your family members, okay? This is better than taking medication. This can definitely heal you because we put demons to run. Medication, we all know how that works, right? You know, the problem always comes back. Then we got to take the medication again, right? But once a demon leaves you, you're free from that. Like me, migraine headache, it's been gone for 25 years. Chronic back pain, gone for 25 years. Never came back. Why? Because the demon left. Okay, there's no reason for me to take painkillers. The demon left. Help me, folks. Help me to help you. Okay? You can see some options down here in this video as well. If you don't want to go below the video, if you want to donate through Venmo or Cash App or Zelle, you know, you can just go straight to them to the app and do it there but they are all listed below thank you so much for considering donating to this ministry to keep me casting out demons preaching the gospel okay help me okay amen praise god let me pray the final prayer right now father i ask right now that you seal this deliverance and that you fill every empty spot Vacated by unclean spirits with the presence of the Holy Spirit. Now, let me say something else. We also have our spiritual warfare strategic network. Okay, what is that that we do? We put demons to run every day behind the scenes in the spiritual realm. Okay, where demons are, they are in the spiritual realm. That's why we enter the spiritual realm several times a day, every day on behalf of our members. So that kind of ministration does not require me to be live here. Okay? It does not require. Okay? Because it's done in the spiritual realm behind the scenes. And there's no distance in between us and the demons. We get to them in a heartbeat. I do it several times a day, every day, 
We also break curses, witchcraft, that kind of stuff every day through our spiritual warfare strategic prayer network. Where can you sign up? You need to sign up. Once you sign up, your family is also included. Your household is also included. Your business is also included. Where? BrotherCardos.com. BrotherCardos.com. Go below the video. The website is listed there. Click on it. It's safe. Go to BrotherCardos.com. Read about our spiritual warfare prayer covering. You can make a donation there too. Okay? To support our ministry from our website. Okay? God bless you now. And I hope you will join us if you are not a member of our spiritual warfare prayer covering. Okay? The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord makes his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance towards you and give you peace. God bless you now. Have a good day until tomorrow. God bless you now. Bye now.